more people right now are escaping Israel and arriving here in South Florida today on a flight. And Local 10 News reporter Joseph Ojo is joining us live from Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport with what they're having to say. Joseph. And lots of emotion from those people that did get off of that flight from Israel. Many of them just very grateful that they were able to get a flight because they say that it's a lot of chaos over there when it does come to that airport. But they are thinking about their loved ones who are still stranded. Back in the loving embrace of her mother's arms, I was praying. Esther Jacobson can't even put into words how grateful she is to be back home. It was pretty scary, but we're okay. She, like others, although lucky to make it out, still have many friends and family stuck in Israel. Everybody's basically just fighting to get on a flight. We still have a lot of family there. We have a lot of people there. Yeah, we need a lot of prayers it's for cousins, aunts and uncles who live there. Tuesday morning, our cameras rolling as a flight from Israel came into Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. Welcome balloons, lots of hugs and tears and sighs of relief from those who fled the war zone. It's not just like a little um, altercation. It's it's real war. Cell phone video shared with us showing the grim reality Israelis are facing. Right there. Boom, oh, boom. that's a rocket. That's a rocket. Right there. That's a rocket. One, two, boom. boom. Some describing spending moments of their vacation hunkered down in bomb shelters, like this couple with their five-month-old daughter. We grabbed the baby and ran down to the bomb shelter. We had to wait it out 10, 15 minutes. We heard a couple of the explosions, you know, close by over our heads. As the war continues and blood continues to shed on both sides, many are just hoping for peace and keeping everyone in their prayers. I have a lot of family in the front lines. A lot of, a lot of my friends have been sadly you know, passed away. And Thank you so much to every single soldier who's putting their life on the line to protect me and get me home. And many of those people that you did hear from, they did say that many of their friends and family members have certainly stayed back to continue and fight in this war. They are hoping and praying for their safe return. We're here in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Joseph Ojo, Local 10 News.